But today we are doing lipid extrusion. First you need your dry lipids. Add your buffer to it. Make sure it's well um, mixed. And then you need this thing. And then support filters as shown. And um, actual filters. The ones that I'm using are 0.4 micron. And um, so you need to hydrate the filters one of the big one which is the actual filter and two of the small ones which is the supports for the filter hydrate them in your buffer then you need two glass syringes like these and um, first you have to make sure they are washed well in your buffer the buffer that i'm talking about is what you resuspend your lipids in and for me it is 20 millimolar tris so um, I'm doing that because um, usually uh, the person who uses these or yourself you're supposed to um, clean them in methanol before storage so it's always a good practice to wash everything before you do extrusion and I do the same thing with um, the stuff that holds the filters I wash them really well as you can see and then just before doing that I make sure my lipids are um, really um, mixed well I bath sonicate them a little bit and I also warm up my um, warm up a plate because um, the lipids that I use their um, phase transition temperature from uh, gel to liquid is around room temperature so I make sure my um, plate is about like 40 degrees at least so um, the extrusion will happen smoothly and then um, I, um, I assemble everything as you can see here I put the two small filters on each of those um, white things and then I put the big filter in the middle and then I assemble everything like this making sure that the big filter is in the middle of the two small ones and then um, yeah there is one way to assemble this but just in case here's the video so you won't forget um, ever how to assemble and screw it on really tight um, so you won't have leakage of your lipids which are um, kind of expensive so yeah make sure everything's screwed in well and then you just take in your lipid with one syringe as you can see here and um, you screw in the syringes in you just have to remember which side you start from because this um, the start side has your large multilamellar vesicles on the other side of the filter and on the other syringe you will have your small unilamellar vesicles which have passed through the filter and are smaller and um, better for using and then you empty it in a new clean um, Eppendorf so that's it thank you so much for watching and yeah, enjoy this scene of this big fog in the middle of the city. And thank you so much.